Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the flow field problem using breadth first search, BFS. Last time I showed you how to solve it using recursion, DFS, depth first search, but this time we're going to use iteration and a queue. So it says, an image is represented by a 2D array of integers, each integer representing the pixel value of the image. Given a coordinate, SRSC, starting row, starting column, representing the starting pixel, row, and column of the flow field, and the pixel value new color, flow field the image. So as you know, we click on an image, and we want to fill the image with a color that we chose, the new color. So we have to fill the image in all directions by modifying the original color to the new color. So we have to traverse the image. In this case, the image is a 2D array of integers. Every integer represents a color. So as I explained in the last video, this is the first example, and the new color is 2. So the output is this. So the input is the image represented as a 2D array of integers, the starting row and the starting column, and the new color is 2. So when you click here, that means the starting row and the starting column is 1, 1. That means um, this position here, you want to change, you want to flood fill the image. So you want to change this to a 2, and all the ones, all the color ones that are reachable from this one, also to a 2. So that's why you see all these became 2s. So instead of recursion, instead of using the stack implicitly, we're going to use iteration. We're going to use breadth first search. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I need integer m gets a value of image that length n gets a value of image sub zero that length. And the original color gets a value of image at the position starting row, starting column. So with these three variables here, I have m is the length of the number of rows, n is the number of columns, and also the original color. So I can say if the original color is the same as the new color, I just return the image. So for instance, if you have a picture and you want to flood fill the image with, with color blue, with a blue color, and you click on blue, then there's nothing to do. It, uh, you're done, so you just return the image the way it is. Then I also need um, a 2D array of integers. I'm going to call these directions. And this will have all the directions um, that I want to traverse. So up, down, left, and right. So first, I want to, I leave the x as it is, and I go down by saying negative one. So this is the y, if I say negative one, is to actually, uh, to go up. So I go up. Then I can go left, I modify the x to be negative one, and the y stays the same, so this means to go left. The other direction is to go up, so I can modify the y to be positive 1, go up by one unit. And the other direction is to go to the right, so I just modify the x to, to increase by one unit. So now that I have this array of directions, this is going to allow me to simplify the code. I just have to traverse this array to, to go in all four directions. So as you know, in breadth first search, we use a queue data structure that has the FIFO property, first in, first out. So I'm going to have a queue. But before that, I also need a pair, because the queue is a queue of pairs. So I'm going to have a class here, pair. And the pair is going to be, it's going to have two values, the x and the y. And I'm going to have a constructor, pair. So it's going to be integer x, integer y. 
I'm going to say this that x gets a value of x and this that y gets a value of y. So now that I have this class of pairs, I can have my Q for breadth first search. So I'm going to have Q of pair. Q gets a value of new linked list. Okay, so now that I have the Q, in order to start the process of breadth first search, I will I will put the first coordinate to the queue, the first pair. That would be the starting row and the starting column. And this is going to allow me to start the process of breadth first search. So I'm going to say queue that offer. What do I want to offer? A new pair with the source row and the source column. And then I can start the process. I can have my loop that says, well, not Q that is empty. All right, so this is the loop of breadth first search. So by the end of everything, I will just return the image because I will modify the image in place. So what do I want to do in breadth first search? Well, now I have the Q and the Q has the source vertex. So the starting row and the starting column. So every iteration, I DQ. So I'm going to say pair P gets a value of Q dot Paul. And then now that I have P, this pair, I will modify the color um, to be the new color. So I will say image, so P dot X, so p that y gets a value of new color. All right. So now that I modified the the image at this position at the point p that x and p that y, then I just want to go in all directions from this point. I want to traverse um, from this point in all directions. So I can just say for direction in directions. So for every direction in the directions, I will just get a new coordinate from this point. So I'm going to say integer x gets a value of p dot x. This, this coordinate at position x plus directions of 0. And the new y direction is p dot y. So from this point, plus direction sub 1. So this will allow me to get all the directions from this point. That means going down, going left, going up, and going to the right. So now that I have the new x and the new y, I can check if it is valid. So if x is less than 0, or x is greater than or equal to a number of rows, or y is less than zero, or y is greater than or equal to a number of columns, or image at the new x and the new y is not equal to the original color, then that means that this new coordinate is not valid, so I'm not going to enqueue this coordinate. I'm just going to skip it because um, this is a reachability problem. If I find that this color, uh, this new position that I want to traverse, is not equal to the original color, then I cannot modify that color there. So this is not valid, and I will not enqueue this point to the queue. Otherwise, I'm just going to say queue.offer a new pair with a new X and a new Y. All right. So this solution is using breadth first search. We use as a queue. Last time we were using recursion. We were using depth first search. So now I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So if you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.